Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel with me Lala. Today we will play Story Peak The Taming of the Monster. Before uh, they they want to leave the village and we are gonna be alone again so I don't know what to do hmm thank you for everything Lala you are fired I cannot believe he fired me like that at least give me some time when I was packing my clothes knock knock I hear a knocking sound from the window not from the door hmm? Who? closer than ever who is it um, I cannot hear it clear clearly because of the wind is it just wind Hello? Hmm? What should I do? Hmm. Open the window, I guess. When I carefully opened the window, I saw a tail of an animal. A, a tail? Joshua? It's the tail of a wolf sitting on top of a tree. It was Joshua sitting on a tree in a wolf form. Joshua, why are you? I thought I will never be able to see you again. I was hiding, but the villagers all stopped moving. It looked like they were under a spell. Joshua doesn't know anything about this situation right now. Joshua! Come in, come in. Joshua came into my room through the window. Oh, Joshua. Joshua, you came back. He seemed very shocked. I mean, how could he stay calm when frozen people are standing in front of the front door? What happened? Is it some sort of magic? William stopped the time. I is that because of me? I hear you must not reveal your identity according to the rules. He need about two days to erase everyone's memories. Lala, what are all these suitcases? Ah, I got fire. Fire? But what does fire mean? Uh, right. Uh, it means I cannot work at this mansion anymore. Uh, no way! Joshua lay flat on my suitcase. As like he is asking me to take him with me. Oh. Are you going to come with me? How could you say no to Joshua? Joshua slowly turned into a human. Can I? come with you do you not like me because i'm a monster no way i miss you lala i know i don't deserve to come back here william and everyone else have to leave because of me right you prepare so hard for my debut but i ruin everything it's okay man it doesn't it's not the end of the world I could see a sign of guilt on Joshua's face. I softly pat between his ear. <gasps> it's okay, Joshua. Honestly, I was surprised when I first saw you in a wolf form. I've never thought that I will encounter a talking wolf. So, you think I'm weird? But, Joshua. I don't care if you're different than others. No matter if you are a werewolf or even a different monster. You are you, Joshua. But if I control myself that day, you didn't have to suffer all of this. No one has to live 
if I were a normal person. Although so many people accuse him, Joshua is still worried about me getting hurt by them, true enough. Who should I name his soulful emotion? I don't blame you for leaving the mansion. I'm not going to blame William, Enoch, and Harold. Lala? I didn't realize that I got this close with Joshua. Lala? Joshua reached out to me and hooked me in his arm. Uh, Joshua? I miss you so much. Even if the villagers didn't lose their memories, and even I have to be criticized as a monster for the rest of my life, I cannot give up on you. I could not think of anything when I looked at Joshua's eyes up close. His wet and clear eyes. They only look at me with sorrowful and loving mem- emotion. What shall I do when I miss you? Lala, please don't leave me like this. I've never felt this way before, but I need you. I could feel how sincere he is. I could tell that Joshua is scared to be rejected. I'm not going to give up on you, Joshua. So, please, don't give up on your hope for living as a human. Please, come to the snowfield tomorrow. Hmm? I will make a bow to protect you forever. That feeling when you want to protect someone regardless. The feeling of wanting to become someone's shield. That precious emotion is what we call love. I found Enoch and Harold when I went out to the hallway. Did you finish packing? Is everyone ready to leave? Hmm, I'll escort you first. You are not going to carry all the suitcase, aren't you? Um, I think I can do it myself in two days. Enoch, can you do magic like a teleport? I will have become a grand magician if that possible. Okay. By the way, where is William? He should be in his room. Um, I'm sure he's busy re- erasing that many people memories, you know. Still, he could have come out and said a farewell. What a rude vampire. Give me the sweet case, Lala. What should I do with this? Shall I really live like this? Okay, so I will choose this guy. Dread hair. Ask Harold for help. Harold, could you help me? Uh, me? May I? Sure, I didn't know that you will ask me. Thank you. I'm asking you to carry my luggage, but thank you. Take care. I decided to walk to the school with Harold and my sweet cases. These people are really frozen. You must have experienced something like this a lot. Mm. Was that a wrong question? William did erase many people's memories, but I could not realize it. I have never seen him doing such a thing as stopping a time. So, it's his first time erasing this many people's memories? Right. Lala, is this for sale? Harold looked at the newsstand on the street. That's a newsstand. Oh! What's wrong? Oh, my monstrous joke has ended already. I grabbed the newspaper after seeing the cover page of the novel section. Of course, I didn't, I didn't forget to leave a coin. Any interesting news? Did something happen? Harold seemed like he was worried about an issue about him or other missing cases. 
No, nothing happened. My favorite novel was has finished. Um, what kind of novel is it? Um, it's about a duke who is called a monster. A monster duke, isn't that William? Maybe the character is inspired by you, Harold, because you know a lot of things happen. Hmm. He made a confused face. Harold seemed like he could not understand how he could be an inspiration of a story. Did he get accused as a terrible monster and burned to death? Uh, no, it's a romance novel. Is that to a human? No, he has a mysterious power. Does he still fall in love with a human? Why do you think it's impossible? Well, we monsters age differently. Some mysterious beings are immortal. We age differently than humans. Do you think we can understand each other? Well... Hmm, a power of love can overcome anything. Or what could go wrong if we don't understand each other? A power of love. A power of love? That's not like a hero transformation spell or something. Well, you do transfer technically. S someone could hear us. Woo, the time has stopped. It's like that when I first saw him, but he's strangely naive. After a short conversation, we arrive at the school. Is this where you live? That's why you have been working hard. You didn't have to say that out loud. Harold seemed shocked by the old building. Why are you so surprised? You're from a snowfield. You know, I actually did a ton of work to make that place livable. When I first arrive, whatever, I better go now. Wait. Lala, Harold stopped me as if I had something important to say. What is this feeling? Thanks for everything. Why do you sound like it is our last moment? It is. <gasps> I hear that you will not forget about us, Lala. That should not happen technically. Are you sure? You can live with those painful memories. They are not painful. I worried a lot, but I'm still glad I can live in your memories. Why are we... Why are you keep saying that? It feels weird. Don't worry, Lala. And thank you for never giving up on me. It was fun. Harold. I tried to say something back. But he left immediately. I could not do anything but look at him walking away. Was it an illusion that the large pack looked unusually lonely? Oh. I came back to school. I saw frozen people standing everywhere in the school. Now, it looks frightening. Maybe something like this happened to me before? Someone could have erased my memories. Just like in not warning, losing memories was definitely not a good feeling. It was completely dark when I went back to the school dorm and organized my stuff. When I was in a bad mood, ugh, ugh, I heard a growl in the middle of the darkness. It could be just a wind or a wild animals. I should go to the snowfield. This time, there wasn't enough warm magic to protect me. I went into the snowfield, thrown a, sn thrown a strong wind. I cannot see anything. 
because of the miss the reason why you were born no not anymore no one can understand us <gasps> i hear a hallucination which seemed to be the whisper of branches shaking in the wind then i found someone standing in the middle of the lake who looked like he gave up on everything harold what are you doing out there uh, lala why are you i guess nothing matter now i'm sorry lala what do you mean sorry you always came to look at, to look for me why why are you saying that it is indeed our farewell farewell ask enough if you have more stuff to move you are fired lala i could not even feel the cold because i was too emotional why are you saying goodbye to me like that you cannot just live like that this is not fair do you even care how i feel about it wait lala don't move i shook harold and hear a crack in the frozen lake harold water rushed into my mouth before i even scream I feel like I'm being sucked into the deep hole. I swung my hand in a huge current, but it was useless. Is this really the end of me? Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. So the next the next episode is even if you are a monster. We must save Harold, who lost every will to survive. Then there was a trace of the monster on the snowy field. If you like my video, you can like, subscribe, and uh, comment to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!